Hey Virgo, I'm here to do your reading. Let's see what's going on, Virgo. So you have timid, misunderstood, and shy. Someone could be very shy around you. This could be you or someone else. I'm also getting a group. You got a group on their toes. It's a group of bitches or a nigga. They on their toes now. Let's see. Yeah, harmony, protection, and idealism. It's like now, you know, a group is trying to put up their protections. Now they want to be defensive. Now they want to wonder why. Yeah, movement, long distance, and travel. I'm getting something about uh, protections here. It could be surrounding you. I'm getting containment. You could be dealing with the witch. You could be dealing with the Libra. I'm also getting assessing here. So someone's assessing you. Someone's assessing your movement, your travel. So I'm getting someone's watching you. Someone's stalking you. It's a family dynamic. These people don't know what, what they're doing. It's quite unfortunate. Yeah, messages, curiosity, and signs. And then you have uh, romance, soulmates, and empathy, Venusian energy. So I'm getting something about a message here. Someone wants to reach out to you. I'm getting this person has unconditional love for you. I'm getting they want to reach out, but it's like someone someone's watching them, so they can't. Someone's definitely watching your person. It's a, a, a family dynamic, a group. It's a bum-ass nigga. It's definitely a thief. It could be a thief watching your person. So someone's trying to steal what's yours. Someone's trying to steal what's rightfully yours. It's a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. It's probably a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio. So I'm getting a Cancer could be trying to steal from you. Yeah, this Cancer suffers mentally. This Cancer crazy as shit. But they gonna find out. They'll find out. <laughs> what is this? Yeah, the Emperor. They'll find out what they mad ass. Five of Wands, the Devil, and the Judgment card. They'll find out. Could be an Aries that you're dealing with as well. This person wants conflict with you. I, I really think they don't. They really don't. With this Judgment card right here. <laughs> they really don't. I'm getting something about conflict within a, a Capricorn. So this is someone who obsesses over shit. They want control and domination. It's a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. They want control and domination. When it comes to your person, the Emperor, this could be your divine counterpart for some of you. I'm also getting this person is under judgment for their witchcraft or whatever they've done. Someone's done something in the background and it could be driving them the fuck crazy. It's a water sign. <laughs> you know, people who, who dabble in spell work and people who dabble in low, low vibrational acts, they don't have enough courage emotionally and damn sure not enough strength because anyone who dabbles and that kind of shit, you have to be fucked up mentally. What my girl T said? You gotta be fucked up. What you what you got going on in your life that you gotta stoop to this level? The devil? You playing with low vibrational energies? What do you have going on in your life? You can't have shit going on. You can't have too much if you're willing to do this. I'm getting this person could have a dog, yeah. With the Ace of Swords, that's the truth. That's the clarity that you're looking for. Yeah, most certainly. This is the clarity that you're looking for, Virgo. This person doesn't have shit going on. So who, whoever is trying to uh, cause you conflict or be toxic in your life, they don't have shit going on for themselves. So it's more so of a game to them until the game is over. 
you know, the ace of, ace of cups, ace of swords, that's nothing but truth and clarity that I feel that you, that you need on a soul level, Virgo. These motherfuckers don't have shit going on. That could be something that you know. With the judgment card, you could have spoke this over these people. Like, y'all don't have shit going on anyway. So I get it. Queen of Cups. I'm getting you could you could empathize with these people. When it comes to this conflict, Virgo, I'm getting they're doing conflict to you, but it's almost like you could empathize with them like, oh, I get it. I get it now. <laughs> how tragic or how treacherous. You know what? It's okay. Queen of Wands. It's okay. Let me show you some compassion here. I'm also getting an energy here of where you're um, trying to take a leap of faith. Or someone's hot with you. They feel foolish. It's a queen of wands energy. Could be a witch. Could be a witch. So I'm getting a witch feels foolish. <laughs> I'm getting you have a witch feeling very foolish or dumb as fuck. Yeah, with the king of pentacles. I'm getting you're affecting this witch's comfortability. Oh, Virgo. That's what the problem is. Could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Yeah, the page of swords with the um the star card this person is using higher intelligence when it comes to an aquarius they want this aquarius contained they don't want this person with you for surely they want this person contained so they can keep giving them shit they got a queen of cups look at her she stays sitting on her fat ass it's probably a nasty ass bitch too with the emperor and the queen of cups so this person probably, they act out of a masculine energy, but then it's like underneath all of that, it's like nothing but emotion. Nothing but some shit they should be showing on the surface or on the outside. Yeah, the chariot with the nine of pentacles. This person is jealous of you. Could be your car, mainly. I'm also getting perseverance. They're jealous of your perseverance. I'm also getting independence. Yeah, the hermit in the five of pentacles. This person doesn't like that you're independent. They want you to be out in the five of pentacles like them. So this is the same shit. This is like someone you shouldn't be hang hanging around. This is someone you shouldn't be involving yourself with. This is someone I feel you could be dealing with... Uh, with a counterpart, you're dealing with a counterpart, but it's like they've somehow involved themselves with your counterpart. Counterpart. Yeah, the seven of wands. They're putting in hard work. Someone's working overtime when it comes to whatever they're doing. I'm also getting someone's looking within. Someone's soul searching here because they're lost. So I'm getting someone doesn't know themselves. Could be a cancer. I'm getting this cancer never knew themselves. This is why they're doing what they're doing. Yeah, the seven of wands. This is why they approach people the way they do because they don't have it here. They don't know themselves mentally. What is this? Yeah, the Empress reverse with the hanged man and the 10 of cups. <laughs> this person is low vibrational as fuck. what I tell you? This is probably a fat ass bitch or a nigga. No offense, if you, if you know, you a little hefty, if you a little, you know, you got a little poundage on you, ain't nothing wrong with a little poundage, shit, everybody got a little poundage somewhere, <laughs> could be dealing with the Pisces, um, I'm getting a Pisces has a desire to know if you've given yourself away or if you've done something, yeah, the three of cups, the knight of pentacles, I'm getting this person wants reconciliation with you. Or they want to celebrate with you. They want to go out with you and have a good time. But someone has motive around them. Yeah, the lovers. Could be a Gemini. The world. A Gemini is watching them. Or this person has another love situation here. Yeah, the Ten of Swords with the Queen of Swords. But I feel that has since ended. I'm getting this person has had a revelation. Maybe as to who you are. This person knows who you are now. I'm getting very clearly with the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Cups. I'm getting this person has love for you as well with the lovers. 
I'm also getting this person wants to have a lot of sex with you, the lovers, the devil. But they feel that you're judging them or that they're under judgment with the king of wands and the nine of wands. I'm getting this judgment could have them feeling, you know, a bit challenged. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius that you're dealing with. I'm getting this person has a lot of passion for you. Queen of Pentacles. This person wants your care. They could find you to be a little reckless. Someone could find you to be a, a bit reckless, Virgo. Maybe with that tongue, with that mouthpiece. They don't like how you spit it out there. But you probably could give a fuck with the Nine of Wands and the King of Wands. With the Knight of Wands here. I'm getting something about sex, like a lot of sex. Like someone, I'm getting like someone. <laughs> I'm getting like somebody needs your sex or like need your care. This could also speak of finances. Someone could need your money. E of the Eight of Swords. So someone could need you to bail them out, <laughs> bail them out of jail with the Tower and the Seven of Pentacles. This could be a revelation to you. I see you probably getting a phone call. Like, yo, I need you. <laughs> yeah, the high priest is here with the ace of pentacles. Virgo, I'm getting someone. <laughs> someone needs a little help. It could be a Pisces, the high priestess. This person knows that you know. <laughs> it's like this person knows that you know everything. They know this. They know that you know. <laughs> I'm also getting a spell. Someone has, uh, they're having trouble breaking, breaking a spell. Or they're, they're having trouble with the truth. Many people don't know the truth is what breaks spells. Words of truth. Words of justice. They break spells. Any type of containment. The truth will break this. The High Priestess and the Ace of Pentacles. I'm getting someone wants to give you the truth. Once they give you this truth, the spell will be broken. And I feel this may backfire on this Queen of Cups energy. And that's why she's mad as fuck for a Libra. Could be a Scorpion here as well. This could be a Grandmother, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, the Seven of Swords with the Seven of Cups. This, these people are doing a lot of shit. They got too much time on their hands. That's the main problem. You would think all these kids and all these... Motherfucker got 1,100 children. You would think that they would have more time. I know damn well if I, if I had kids... No way I would be worried about some shit like this. No way would I be worried about someone's relationship. Unless I'm lonely as fuck, you know, and I don't got shit, I don't got nobody. How? These people are trying to get away with a lot of shit. It's their greed. Someone's mother has greed. Someone's mother has greed. They're attached to greed. All they do is sit on their ass. And indulge. I'm also getting a drunk. Someone's a drunk, so this could be the main problem. Their view is distorted. <laughs> and they want everyone else's view around them to be distorted as well. But it's not working. Seven of Wands, it's going to backfire. With the Magician and the Six of Wands, I see victory or longevity here surrounding the Virgo. Could be dealing with another Virgo here. Or a Virgo finds you to be very praiseworthy. I'm getting a Virgo is going to patronize you for your work. I'm getting something about a, a magician. So this could be someone that you're viewing as very manipulative. They're going to patronize you. Or I'm getting they're going to make you an offer. This could speak of a text message. Three of Wands. They're constructing from afar. Yeah, the Four of Cups with the Four of Wands. They're very discontent with their situation. Yeah, the Three of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. They're very discontent here. I feel this person has brought this upon themselves. So I'm getting some type of deception was at play. So I feel someone deceived you. And they can't take the boundaries that you put in place when it comes to them. Yeah, the Six of Pentacles. They can't take you exchanging with anyone else. I'm also getting a lot of anxiety or sleepless nights. Someone's not sleeping. 
someone won't rest until they talk to you, until they exchange with you. Yeah, the temperance. Could be a Sagittarius you're dealing with. This person is holding back. This person could be low on funds. Someone could be draining their pockets elsewhere so they're low on funds. With the Five of Swords. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius you're dealing with. Could be a Scorpio. <clears throat> so a Scorpio is uh, trying to milk somebody. It's a water sign, a demonic ass Scorpio. Child, this Scorpio. <laughs> the, just <laughs> the Justice card with the Three of Swords here. This Scorpio is going to get some karma for this shit. A Scorpio trying to play dirty with a Virgo. <laughs> Virgo, what I'll say to you is justice is very blind. <laughs> justice is blind. Yeah, act. Aries energy, discomfort. And you have Scorpio, investigate with exploration underneath the deck. <laughs> I ain't even going to touch on it. But this high priestess energy is here. So I'm getting, you know. You know what time it is. Let motherfuckers keep playing dirty. Let them. <laughs> Act discomfort, and then you have investigate. Someone's very uh, uncomfortable. <laughs> the way I'm seeing this, some of my ancestors about to really tear in and latch. <laughs> Many of you could have Scorpio ancestors and they're about to latch fiercely on these people. This is what I'm getting for you, Virgo. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Check my description box so y'all can book that person. <laughs> with that person reading. All right, Virgo, I'll see y'all in the next video.